middleweight championship fight. Brought to you by the new movie, The Hateful Eight, starring Samuel L. Jackson in select theaters December 25th. Both men 31. Luke Rockhold 6'3, Weidman 6'2, Weidman 78 inch reach, Rockhold 77. Let's get things started. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co main event of the evening. Presented by the new movie, The Hateful Eight, starring Samuel Jackson and Select Peters, December 25th. And now, this fight is five rounds for the undisputed USC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A big martial artist, holding a professional record, 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Santa Cruz, California, presenting the former Strike Force middleweight champion and the number one middleweight contender in the world, Luke Rockhold. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, and mixed martial artist, holding an undefeated professional record. 13 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Baldwin, New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, the All-American. All right, gentlemen, you have been on the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to have a clean fight. Let's touch gloves and come out ready to do this. Yeah, no touch. Now, Luke just said when they get it started, no touch. Well, they just touched. That's enough. There you go. One is enough, right? I like how he said it, though. Yep. Respectfully, he said, look, I'm not here for that. Yep. Let's just get cracking. Weidman Rockhold. Middleweight championship on the line. Here we go. Rockhold, the southpaw, in the white trunks. The guy in the dark trunks. The hard left kick of Rockhold is one of his best weapons. And immediately, Weidman opens up with a kick of his own. He's going to look to bury that in the rib cage of the champion. Kicks early from Weidman, two time All American wrestler at Hofstra. Don't forget, UFC has teamed up with 7-Eleven to give fans a chance to win a new Harley Davidson. Download the 7-Eleven app on a smartphone to win the most. Weidman's Southern. got his back. Weidman's got his back. He's standing on him with his back. Rockhold's in a bad position here. He's got to try to shake Weidman off his back here. Luke is in front of his corner, Joe. Crazy Bob Cook, Javier Mendez and company. The question is, if he's defending, how long does he continue to hold on in this position? He's holding himself up with his legs. He tried to shake Weidman off. Weidman maintained the position for now, but nope, he's off now. Luke is almost out, but Weidman's throwing up a triangle. Weidman's controlling the position still. Look at this great control by Weidman. Luke gotta get that right arm through and out the back. Right now, his right arm is trapped between him and Weidman, and now it's free. That was the key to this position. Now, Weidman's out. Excuse me, Rockhold's out. Now, he's standing up, and he's pressuring Weidman here. Both men, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belts. Weidman just earned his back in May from Enzo Gracie and Matt Serra. Nice knee to the body. Good hard shot elbow. by Weidman. He's going deep for this double, and he's Nicely got... Done. He's got Rockhold down, but Rockhold's trying to get a Kimura. He doesn't have control of the body, though. Where Reidman has his legs pinned down. He's essentially in side control. Now he is in side control. He's trying to step over. He's trying to take the back again. Smothering attack by the champion early. Smothering attack, but so far, good defense by Rockhold, although he just ate that knee. 
the minute he took his hand off the mat, Joe, that's when Weidman fired, because he was not a grounded opponent. A lot of energy Let's go Weidman. both men early. Let's go Weidman chant reading through the crowd. Head fighting too. Well, this is Weidman's kind of fight. It started out oh the hard elbow by Weidman. Good knee by Rocco. It started out on the outside, but this is the type of fight that Weidman thrives in. Clinch warfare. Well, it's 9-0 in the UFC. Nine straight UFC wins. Tied for second with Mighty Mouse. And he's got it again. Rocco looking for a guillotine. He's got the neck trapped in here, but his legs are not in play. He's inside control here, but he's holding on to the neck. Got it locked in pretty good. But yeah, but to finish it, he's gonna have to get his right leg underneath Chris Weidman's body and on the other side. He's either gotta get to half guard or full guard. Incredibly difficult to finish it from here. He's doing what we call the empty half now. Even though he's inside control, he's hooking that leg and he's trying to pull it over so he can trap it with his left and then switch his hips to the point where he's in a half guard position. He can utilize his hips. Wyman recognizes that, scoops further to the outside. He's essentially out of danger now. Now, Rockhold has to be careful because of the Von Flew choke. If Weidman continues to move in that clockwise manner, he can start to put pressure on Rockhold's neck if he can get his, right, his uh, left arm free. Luke, looking at the clock, taking nice, easy breaths. He's not looking to finish it with every piece of energy, thus potentially gassing himself out. But, but he is controlling him. But he's not doing anything here. Yeah. Gonna, what is this? What? They stand him up. Man, that is weird. But man, I think you got to let guys fight out of that. Oh, Hard that's that kick big to the body. And, and he goes up it again. Too. And an inside leg kick. And the takedown is spin again. Down, but look at this. Rockhold winds up uh, on top. Try to get the feet. What a scramble. Excellent scramble for Rockhold here. And he landed some hard shots there. Good first round. Widen back to guard. Rockhold on top. Final seconds of the round. Luke scoots him up against the cage. What a round. Okay, we need that center mat. Okay, center mat. Very nice. I asked okay. you to stay away from the fence. What are we gonna do, buddy? Breathe, 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 breathe. Just be aware of where you're gonna Breathe. He's probably doing that two around. Nice and relax, okay? Nice, Sarah. Breathe. All you gotta do, I want you to send me a breathe. Hey, okay, breathe. breathe. Again, give me the breathe. movement. Your head kicks are looking good, too, man. Straight right in. All right? He's going to be worried for the takedown. Man, that's a pick him first round. Weidman early. Rockhold late. Round two. Yeah, very interesting first round. Especially considering that scramble where Rockhold wound up on top. And look at the touch of gloves out of respect for the second round. And you know, Joe, coming into this fight, Weidman had only been controlled on the ground oh, right for three up. seconds. He heard him. Now Rockhold with a punishing strike. Swarming on Weidman, who scoots out of trouble for now. And here comes the kicks of Rockhold. Oh, there's one right to the body. Hard kicks. Yeah, I was going to say, watch out for the question mark kick. He'll punish the body and then bring it over the top. Well, he also punishes the arms. I mean, you don't want to hold pads for Luke Rockhold. <laughs> you definitely don't want to take one of those shots to your arms. Round two. First minute. And, and that, that is a start for Rockhold. It's a big weapon. The power in Rockhold's kicks. The difference when they land, as opposed to the way Weidman lands, is very noticeable. Chris right in front of him, though. Well, he knows when to do it and when not to. And there's a good shot by Weidman, but a big difference in the way it impacts. Oh, oh there it is, just what we talked one. about. 
Set it up with the body shots and then go high. Look for that head kick finish. Luke coming in said he's faster, more athletic. Javier Mendez said he's never seen Luke this focused. Very nice leg kick there as well. Possessed with victory tonight. Southpaw stance by Chris Weidman, unbeaten in his career. That opens up the leg kick, though. If Weidman doesn't like it from that position, it also cuts his offense down, especially his counters. Beautiful clinch here. Double underhooks by Weidman, defended. Very nice defense. And he eats a kick on the way out. Physically, this is a great matchup. These guys are the same size. That power, though. The power that Rockhold shows with those kicks is so different. Those are punishing kicks. Some fighters will hesitate to kick because they don't want to be put on their back by a great wrestler. No hesitation by Luke here. Boom, over and over. Speed, Crazy Bob Cook saying speed to Luke. Wyman's looking to connect with punches here. Both guys have taken some damage. Particularly Weidman to the body and the arms. Taking some big deep breaths, nice knee to the body by Rockhold. And he'll take a little breather and open up with kicks again. See some redness. Question mark kick off the front yeah. leg. See some redness on the right rib cage of Weidman. There's the head kick again by Rockhold. Nice one. Oh! Over the top. Longo Silla. Chris, he's open! Hey, he's breathing, Chris! Come on, Chris! Body kick, let's go! Chris, take it away with the hand! Come on, Chris, double it up! Right Straight back! Left. Weidman, give me a combination! What Weidman doesn't want to do is stand flat-footed and kick in range. What Ray Longo wants is him to put some stuff together, some combinations. Both these guys kind of pacing themselves, recognizing yeah. that this easily could be a five-round oh fight. Oh, my. Look at the right leg also battered from the kicks of Rockhold. And he goes up high again. Yeah. Weidman blocks those on the forearm, but, man, those can break that bone. He goes to the body again. Saw it with Randy Couture, Gabriel Gonzaga years ago. Chuck Liddell, Rich Franklin. Yeah, that is a big weapon, that left kick. A huge factor in this fight. Weidman with a big swing and a miss. Weidman up against the fence again. Under a minute on the clock here in round two. Rockhold controlling the striking. And adding on. Weidman looking for that check hook. can see, Joe, he definitely has Weidman's attention. Yeah, again, with that question mark yeah. kick, it takes incredible dexterity to do that off the front leg like that. He hasn't been effective with it, but he's showing it. That's that level of athleticism we spoke of with Rockhold. Oh, good kick to the body by Weidman. It hurt him. It hurt him. Rockhold dances back 15 seconds on the clock round two. Good straight left by Rockhold. Again with a heavy kick. I gotta breathe. Look, Matt around the side. We'll let him back in the fight. Breathe. Come on. When he misses with that left, you follow right back with your right. We went over that. You gotta give me some combinations now, man. Press him back and look. The overhand will be there. He's ducking under it now, but it'll be there. Wait till he gets tired. If we got to go to the body, go to the body, man. All right, he's moving his head. We go right to the body. You got to press now. You got to make this guy fight going The back. kicks of Luke Rockhold, we knew there were going to be a factor in this fight, and here we see him. He blocks that one, but it sends him backwards. Remember, Lyoto Machida knocked Mark Munoz out with a kick he blocked. There's a big right hand by Luke Rockhold. Straight left hand. The champion. The challenger. Round three. Again, they touch. 
Two great competitors fighting for the belt at 185 that was held for so many years by the Brazilian Anderson Silva. Wideman is standing in front of him in that kicking range. There's there he stands from himself. Chris Weidman, he's had a few of those, Joe, not a ton. But he's pacing himself more. These aren't full power kicks. Right. Or setup kicks. Yeah, and he seems very fresh coming into this third round. Caught that one. Rockhold and Weidman have been in a ton of five round fights. Kicks and knees. Great Again. attack by Luke. Again with that check left hook, excuse me, right hook. Three here, Weidman, six times scheduled for five rounds, including tonight in the UFC. He's only gone past his second round now twice. Machida, the distance, round three here, good kicks to Chris row. Weidman Two now. in a row. Two right in up row. the middle, Joe. Yeah, I mean, they don't, they're not full power. Yeah. He's just throwing them in there, but he's doing that to conserve his energy. Yeah, that was a full power shot. There's a nice left hand by Weidman. Down goes Rocco. Went down much easier. Rockhold may be fading here. He connected with that right hand, too. Weidman is stepping over the legs, looking to establish mount, looking to get over that right knee of Rockhold. And Rockhold's using the cage, press his body up against it, try to get back up to his feet. Almost up. Now he's back. But with a big grimace, and a lot of energy expended to get back up to his feet. And he may be tired. Weidman with three takedowns. Really controlled Luke in the first round. And Luke was able to do the same to Chris. Big striking round, round two. Good round here for the champ. Swing and a miss by Rocco. There's a nice kick to the body. And he just goes to an over and over jump. So confident in that. Don't forget, after our pay-per-view, it's the FS1 UFC 194 post-fight show. John Ennick, Daniel Cormier, Brian Stan, Michael Bisbee, Ariel Helwani. DC watching his teammate very closely right now. Again, Weidman with these kicks to the body. He's landed two in a row. And even though these might not be full power kicks, they hurt. And they're taking a lot out of Luke Rockhold. Especially Joey's getting the same spot every time. There Another one. Luke was leaning on that one too. He's got to be careful. Again, he goes yep. up high now. And Rockhold shakes his head. Oh, look Stop. at that. Went for a wheel kick. And Rockhold takes him down. Rockhold's got his back now. One hook in. Time to work. Looking for that second hook. He's got it. Rockhold trying to lock it in. Rockhold moving to full mount now. Again, the most underrated aspect of Luke Rockhold's game is his Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And we saw it in the Leota Machida fight. We're seeing him mount the champion here right now. This is huge. One minute. Little less now in the third. Full mount rock hold. You're talking about a guy who regularly trains with two much larger championship level men. Daniel Cormier, the light heavyweight champion, and Cain Velasquez, the former heavyweight oh, champion. Big shots here, Joe. This is huge. Big pace he's by Luke. He's bloodied up. Chris Weidman is a mess right now. Luke looking to win the title right here, right now. Big ground and pound on Weidman. Oh. Herb Dean all over the action. Herb Dean's very close to stopping it. Rockhold continues to batter Weidman. He's going to stop it. Weidman is absolutely getting 15 seconds remains in the round. Nasty elbows. He's trying to defend. 10 seconds in the round. Seconds of the round. What does it take to stop the fight? Wow. That easily could have been stopped.
unbelievable punishment dished out by Luke Rockhold. And Weidman gets up incredibly wobbly. He's falling back to the cage. What a huge round for the challenger. That's right. Hey, listen to me. Stay nice and relaxed. Head up. Stay nice and relaxed. Stay nice and relaxed. Okay. Results now, Chris. You were winning that round. Breathe. You were hitting him with that old hand. We got to follow him. Think right in your arms. You got to give me a couple of combos. We'll get him out. He's got a little balls now. We can no power and movement. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. Okay? You don't have to be You're in a hurry. And here we see Weidman landed these body kicks over and over again. Again, not full power, but they were landing. And he went for this wheel kick. And that was the beginning of his demise. Rockhold capitalized on that position, moved to full mount, and absolutely battered the champion. A huge, huge round for Luke Rockhold. Championship rounds. Again, with that kick to the body by Weidman. You Good saw right. during the replay, Joe, the doctor checked the cut and said we are still good to go, so the battle continues. And another punishing leg kick. Another hard kick to the body, and Rockhold again initiates the clinch and see if he can get Weidman down. Hold the fence. They battle. Rockhold, gotta be careful of his neck. Weidman looking to get that guillotine. Rockhold very aware of it, gets out of it. Rockhold now extremely confident about going to the ground with Weidman. Trying After to that drag exchange. Him down. You heard Ray Longo say, Joe, that Chris Look was winning this. that round Incredible. until this. Look at that takedown. Incredible. Great strength, dexterity. Who, who's ever done that to Weidman? And he grappled. Weidman obviously is tired because that last round was absolutely brutal, but this is the last place he wants to be right now. After that last round with Rockhold dominating him from the top. Coming into this fight, Chris Weidman, Joe, had never been taken down inside the octagon. And he had only been controlled, as I said earlier, on the ground for three seconds. Well, he's in a bad, bad place here. Don't grab the fence. Full guard now. Luke has got to watch his legs here. And this is, of course, depending upon how much Weidman has left. But Weidman does train with John Donaher, who's one of the most respected leg lock specialists in jiu-jitsu. And the way Rockhold is standing with his legs free and open like that. But Rockhold is just giving him so much punishment to think about. Chris Weidman went for the spin. Ended up on his back, Big and that has changed the, the whole complexion. And, you know, that's not a technique he's really proficient right? at either. Absolutely. It's, like, it's going to haunt him. Weidman again trying to secure a guillotine, almost back up to his feet. Rockhold turns the corner, keeps him down. Midway point of round four. This fight's scheduled for five. Biden in a round. Hard shots by Rockhold. Again with the elbow. Herb Dean looking very closely. He's moving into side control, stepping over the left knee of Weidman. Yeah, and he's in Weidman's a, a mess, Joe. Uh, he's battered and bruised, and he can't see out of one of his eyes. Wow. Seven head strikes and counting. That's incredible. And Brockholt steps over it again. Weidman managed to just get that knee in play to keep him in half guard. Oh, man. This is a terrible position. This may be it. Rockhold continuing to punish Weidman. That's it. It That's is it. all over. Luke Rockhold is the new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Wow. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. And even more incredible that he did it on the ground. It all came from his ability to dominate position on the ground, move to the mount, and inflict devastating damage. There he is, Daniel Cormier, coming down from the desk. 
in the corner of wow. his good friend. Both those men have belts in AKA. That is a huge, huge victory for Luke Rockhold. Just an incredible, just amazing world title winning performance. And all of it on that wheel kick attempt. Yep. That wheel kick will haunt this one. Fight Replay brought to you by Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. Vicious ground and pound, especially in round three. And more the same. He's got Weidman up against the cage. Not quite the full mount, but pretty darn close. Herb Dean right on top of the action. Chris Weidman, the All-American, could no longer intelligently defend himself. And the belt will go around the waist of Luke Rockwell. And what a reaction. The biggest achievement of his athletic life. A devastated former champion, Chris Weidman defeated for the first time in his professional career. decision brought to you by Metro PCS, where you get nationwide coverage on the Blazing Pass, 4G LTE Team Mobile Network for just $30, period. Once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 12 seconds of round number 4, declaring the winner by TKO and Champion of the world, Luke Rockhold!